Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. We are here today with the lovely guys at Bailey Bridge Marine, which is very close to where I live, to have a look at the Silver Raptor DCZ. I'm starting at the bow because there's something specifically I wanted to show you, and that is this bump section here. So this section here is designed to bump against the pontoon if you're letting people on and off or picking people up, so you can actually pressure the boat against the pontoon. Above it, you'll notice here, is a big floodlight. So when you're going into the marina, you can see where you're going, see what's going on. And logically, nice big anchor and roller up there. So really, really attractive boat, really good size, and some very clever design features inside that make it just seem so much bigger than you think it would. In fact, it's an eight meter boat overall. Comes with standard spec if you like it's a Honda 250 you can see here and that's going to give you around 40 knots but you can up spec it to a 350 but to be fair for that extra money you're only going to get another seven knots to take you to 47 knots so questionable but really nice to see that the tow line tow tower is actually pretty much outboard of the engine some really clever fender lockers in here as well that you'll notice that one's down that one's up so you've got somewhere to store your fenders more storage in the sponsons at the back here as well but the great thing is massive camper canvas here so this is a day boat that's again loads of protection from the weather but also has a really good cabin and a nice deep step in so you step right into the boat one step in one step down i take a walk forward you can then see that absolutely massive seating entertaining space feet here to put the table in and really nice locker so you pull the peg out here and you've got loads of storage but the neat thing is the seat goes up with the cushion drop it back down it pegs in there is a infill cushion there big storage under there storage under there as well more bits and pieces to chuck your lines under there and then moving forward here galley out which is really nice double burner gas hob sink this is quite neat as well drawer fridge fantastic helm station and as you would expect that seat folds forward to give you more room at the back and the whole bench seat slides backwards and forwards plus it has bolsters so you can get really get your driving position absolutely where you like it lovely helm seat zip wake system over here so the zip wake system balances the boat out so if you're going along and the wind's blowing the boat slightly over the zip wake system balances it back out automatically throttle controller as we say, really nice to see solenoid switches and then you've got the anchor winch and bow thruster remote controller here if you're single handed. And then a nice single ray marine screen, really good visibility forwards. And actually I um, forgot to mention, there is infill cushion so you can turn this entire section here into a big double bed. And then there's a curtain that zips across here, you can see the zip here zips across here you can put blackout blinds across all the back there you can actually have this as another berth which would you've got kids would be great because they'd love to camp out there it's a little cabin in here as well not massive but you know good enough to overnight or to sleep during the day if you like an afternoon snooze double berth there with an absolute acre of extra storage we lift this bed up here again all on gas struts there's a ton of storage in there there's your 240 mains trip in there and then if I do a quick turn around, you'll notice underneath there is a little slip in bed. Now it's not illuminated at the moment, so you're not going to see very well in there. I don't think, but there you go. Yeah, big double berth in there. And a little surprise is the fact that it does actually come with a heads. It's not massive, but you can do what you need to do in there, which is great on a boat of this size. So there you go. What an incredible little boat. So thank you very much to the guys at Bailey Bridge Marine for letting us have a look around. Do please like and subscribe. It really does make a massive difference. Um, I hope you've liked it and I will see you next time round. Thank you for watching.